What's up y'all? So it's been a little bit since I've been able to do any sort of unboxing or anything like that. And y'all know that I just became the newest artist for GOC Guitars. And so I do have today with me a package from GOC Guitars. This just arrived and this exact guitar batch does go live today at 8 p.m. And I'm pretty excited to show you all what it is. And one thing y'all should also notice is that this box is actually kind of thick and that's for two reasons. There are two guitars in here. Uh, one of them is not yet announced yet, so you can't see it. So make sure to subscribe and check back to see what this next guitar is as well, because this one hasn't been announced just yet. And y'all are not gonna wanna miss this one. So now let's go ahead and get this unboxing underway. All right, and I'm gonna open this up away from y'all just in case it's the wrong guitar, because I can't show you all the other one yet. Ooh, it's the right one, all right. So y'all have probably seen some of the videos and posts that I've made on social media about this and you've all probably seen GOC Guitars post about this as well. So let's go ahead and uncover this. They always pack these guitars ridiculously well. I've been amazed at like how well the styrofoam works for packing these. So, ooh, first we're gonna dive into this though to see what we got with the guitar. So we got a GOC Guitars t-shirt. This is pretty dope. Came with the guitar from purchasing it. All right, tools wise, we do have the little truss rod adjustment tool here, and then the different Allen wrenches for adjusting the bridge and action intonation and all that good stuff. And then we've got the guitar itself. You'll have to excuse me here for not knowing how to deal with uh, styrofoam wraps all, after all these years of opening up guitars. This is gonna look sick though, you guys are gonna like this. Ooh, that gold already looks ridiculous. All right, let's pull that out. Yeesh, look at the way that thing glistens. Holy crap. See the neck there, the way the light goes off of this. Hopefully the camera is picking up that wood grain. There we go. That looks ridiculous. Look at that, jeez, man. These are just, actually wild really can't believe how crazy that came out right that, that's insane so yeah this is the GOC Illumina MTLX uh, MTLX get it metallics don't know quite if that's what they were going for as far as the name goes but that's the way that I associated it but this is the new gold color this just looks ridiculous it has that new guitar smell too by the way if any of you all crave that just like the new car smell but if you guys look at the wood grain here and all of the figuring that's going on in this um, I believe this is Swamp Ash. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on screen what the specs are for this exact guitar, but man, look at that. Like, that's just ridiculous how they got that paint to stand out like that. It feels really, really nice too. This is a seven string model here, and these are the Paragon Alnico calibrated set that are inside of it, so y'all are gonna hear this in just a second, but sorry, I'm just a little bit blown away at how good this thing looks. And the neck feels great. This is obviously GOC Guitars AO neck, which is phenomenal. Fret ends feel ridiculously smooth. Man, I can't wait to plug this in and play. Check out that fret marker right here at the 12th fret as well. Let's see if I can get that back into focus. So that looks ridiculous. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna grab some B-roll shots here and then I'm gonna plug this in so y'all can hear it. So pretty damn stoked on this. All right, so now I've got this thing all plugged in, uh, tuned up because it shipped from overseas. and Actually, it was still mostly in tune, which is pretty awesome. Always gotta love a hardtail for that reason. I love trems as well, but hardtails just stay in tune so much better. Uh, but yeah, I've... Uh, but yeah, I've got this plugged into Neural DSP's Archetype Gojira and I don't have anything else going on. No EQ, no other impulse responses, no nothing, just because I want you guys to hear this the way you would hear this if you actually plugged it into Archetype Gojira X yourself. This is my go-to preset that I made for my GOC Illumina with my custom pickups and everything in it. And it actually ended up sounding fantastic on this seven string. So let's go ahead and take a listen to that. I'll show you what I've got going on in here. So pedal section, just normal overdrive settings here. Tone, not all the way up, but pretty far up there. Uh, the amp, really generic settings over here. Gain is cranked quite a bit down here. The bass is right at mid. Mids are cranked a little bit. Treble's cranked a little bit. The master's brought down again to get rid of some of the saturation in the power tube section. Presence is cranked. Depth was left alone and output is cranked up. Inside of the cab section here, we've got the good old Dynamic 57 and the Condenser 414 because I ended up really liking how those sounded. I didn't mess with the positions at all except for moving the 414 in toward the cone a little bit to give it a little bit more hair. And then if we go over to the EQ section, I have just a high and low pass filter. So a high pass filter at 77 hertz and then a low pass filter at 11,000. So really basic settings here, what you'd expect. Now let's go ahead and take a listen to what it sounds like. 
So you can hear they set it up really well from the factory. The intonation and everything is set very beautifully. This is in drop A currently, for so a seven string drop A. Um, but playability wise, this neck is not hard to play. I don't have huge hands either. I, I definitely look at seven and eight string guitars and think, oh man, is this gonna be too wide of a neck for me? But thankfully this GOC is not. This is very simple to play and it fits my hand perfectly. And I think that's definitely because of their AO neck profile, which is a lot more comfortable to play than a standard seven string, I would say. It's flat without being too flat and it fits into this little area of your hand and kind of forces your hand to shape a little bit differently, especially for larger chords. It's really comfortable. I'm not great at playing leads, but it's definitely still comfortable for those as well. Let's go through and listen to a couple other little tone tests and then I'll let y'all go for the day. <laughs> Here's a little bit of a clean channel real quick. All right, so that was about it. I just wanted you guys to get a quick glimpse of the guitar, see what the finish looks like over a normal camera here, and get to hear a quick tone test. Uh, later next week, I should be posting a full review of this guitar along with all of the specs and the tone test in quite a few different uh, contexts here, and then obviously in the context of a full demo mix as well. But if there's anything that y'all want to hear me do with this guitar as well, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to post it here or on my other social media as well. So these drop today at 8 p.m. Central. Now remember, that's today, Thursday, May 9th, 2024 at 8 p.m. Central. So if you're watching this today, you need to get onto the website at 8 p.m. So that way you can make sure to grab one of these. They do come in this really sick gold here, as well as some really sick metallic black and silver. You're gonna wanna check those out on the website. The pictures don't even do it justice, honestly. These things look ridiculous in person. I really hope that I get to see the black and silver in person at some point as well. All right, and like I said at the beginning of the video, this does drop today at 8 p.m. Central. This is May 9th, Thursday, May 9th. So if you are watching this today, you're not too late. Get in on this drop tonight if you wanna pick up a guitar that looks just like this, or the black or the silver. And in the meantime, let me know if you have any questions about these. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that y'all have. And yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.